but whether it be his successful restaurants, his popular television shows, or even his talented stable of thoroughbred racehorses, there's a quality to each and every one of Bobby Flay's ventures, and we are so honored that he's chosen to uh, this location for his newest restaurant. It's the Roosevelt Field Mall. I mean, um, it's 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 been known to be such a commercial success for so many years, and. It's really a place where people from all over Long Island come to, uh, to do their shopping and, and to eat, obviously. And we're just happy to be part of it. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a piece of real estate that we've been trying to get into for a really long time. So we're happy to be here. Bobby's Burger Palace Burgers, are they, they, each one has a little story to tell on, on top of it because it's, I've, I've flavored them by my travels throughout America. And so it's a very true American story. So there's the Santa Fe Burger that has you know, a queso sauce and blue corn tortillas and, and green chilies on it. The Crunch Burger is something that uh, is really proprietary to, to Bobby's Burger Palace, and it's a really simple idea. Thin, crisp potato chips on any burger to crunchify. It gives it that really fantastic contrast of texture, and the great thing about it is you can have it on any, any burger and it's free. People have asked me about, you know, what's the Long Island burger going to be, and I'm open to uh, people suggest making suggestions. You know, when I think of Long Island, I mean, there's so many fantastic things in Long Island when it comes to produce, so I'm, I'm open to anything. I don't think I'm going to do a, a surf and turf burger anytime soon, but uh, we need some, we definitely need some Long Island flavor, and it, it definitely needs its own burger.